Backs out of it now. Down inside to Florizard. Florizard's got it. Florizard's driving the basket. Spins, turns, and gets that one to go up and in. 12.52 to go in the first half. Rockport leads it 21 to 8. Allen with it. Allen's going to back Summers in. Going to back Summers right in and gets the bucket and the foul there. So Lesko looks for a pass. Over to Jake Preston. Preston for three from the wing. From the left wing, Jake Preston for three. Rockport used the shot clock and they miss on the three. Over to Lesko on the other end. Four three. Lesko sinks it from the left wing. 29 to go in the first half. And we talk about turnovers. That might have been a costly one for Brockport because now Hobart has tied the game back up and that is a massive momentum switch. And right as you said, another turnover by Brockport. So the statesman back on the other end. As Sean McKinless drives, nice turnaround there, gets the bucket off the turnover. Doherty inside to Edens Fleurzard. Fleurzard backing out of it now. Fleurzard's going to turn around and drive, and his shot goes out, gets his own rebound, gets the left hand and layup, and the foul here. 4 11 to go in the first half. Hobart leads at 36 30. The Statesman will start with it working from left to right. It'll be Lesko going inside to Colin Doherty. Doherty inside, and once again, there you exactly just said 18 55 to go in the second half. Brockport leads at 43 to 41. The short inside to Florizard is wide open for the dunk. Florizard came right down the lane. Fatigue has to be setting in on him at some point. McKinless for three from the left wing, six to point lines on the right. Inside to call Doherty. Doherty with it, Doherty drives, little pump fake. Edens, Florizard's able to get in and get the rebound there. Back to Lesko. Lesko to Oscar Coulter. Coulter for three now, and six to Oscar Coulter able to bury that three. But Hobart needs to make sure that they're converting and uh, earning those points back. Lesko for a deep three-pointer and sinks it! Lesko with a deep three-pointer with 144 to go in the second half. Uh, big emphasis tonight was rebounding um, and stopping them off of offensive glass, and I think we did that tonight. Uh, did a good job of executing. Uh, 17 points, 14 rebounds. We think that's a career high for you. Yes, sir. Uh, monster night. Just uh, what were you seeing in the paint? Why, why was everything so wide open for you? Um, Coach just told me to be aggressive and uh, just keep getting to my right hand if, if I can get it, and, and that was the main thing I did, and I was able to do that uh, a couple times throughout the night. Um, while, while you were tearing up the paint, your teammate Tucker Lesko was tearing mm -hmm. it up from three-point range, yeah. six of seven on the night. Mm -hmm. Does uh, do the two of you are you able to play off of each other when one starts having success? It opens things up for the other, and yeah. vice versa. Yeah, we always say to get it inside so we can kick out to our open shooters, and we always tell Tuck I, and Colin and tonight it was Tuck. We say shoot till you get hot, and he had the hot hand tonight, so we just let it let him fly.